Well, That's on right. Monday, we launched Clear the List in partnership with Mix 1041's Carson and Kennedy. And we are joined live by them now. Guys, let's get a quick check in as we get close to the first full week of Clear the List. How are things going? What are we hearing from teachers and listeners? It has gone spectacularly well. Kennedy's going to share a story in just a minute about Clear the List that is just, it will prove that your viewers and our listeners are the best. Um, so what happens is teachers submit to us their list, maybe it's an Amazon wish list, about things that they need going back into the classroom. A lot of times, you know, these uh, all these school districts are, are being defunded. They don't have the monies that they need. And teachers are having to buy their own pencils, their own papers for the students. We've heard from teachers this year having to buy chairs and carts to be able to take things around and so we give them the opportunity to come on the air with us tell us about their journey what it is they're trying to purchase and then we share that with your viewers our listeners and they go in and clear the list and we do that uh, every day on the show last week and next week and kennedy what are we finding and out we got, how's it going so we, we talked to Linda yesterday, who's a teacher, and we got an email back from her yesterday afternoon saying, thank you for featuring me on Clear the List. By noon today, my list was not only cleared, but doubled. I will share with my colleagues, and I cannot describe how excited I am to tell the students about this experience. Wow. Doubled. You people are amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, so <laughs> amazing. Carson and Kennedy, thank you so much for the update. Keep up the good work. And everybody, you can still help. You can still clear the list. Go to Mix1041.com for all of the details to help. Such a great cause. Our teachers are amazing. And don't forget to tune in to Carson and Kennedy weekday mornings from 530 to 10 a.m.